Breaking news, Houdat Nation. Devontae Adams wants to be a New Orleans Saint. According to Adam Schefter, the two teams that Devontae Adams would prefer to go to are the New Orleans Saints and the New York Jets. So be sure to subscribe for more updates around Devontae Adams. Anytime there's any sort of news, we're going to bring you a video. We're going live later today around 4, 4.30 Central Time, so be sure to join there because we're going to go through any updates, going to go through why this can make sense. And in today's video, I'm going to explain what the connection is and how the Saints can pull off the trade because it's actually a lot more possible than you think. So that Schefter report, like I said, it suggested that Devontae Adams would prefer to be a New Orleans Saint or a New York Jet. Why is that? Well, with the Jets, there's the obvious connection to Aaron Rodgers, but the Saints, they have a lot of connections as well. They have a lot, not just Eric Carr, but they have a lot of connections. How can they pull off this trade? We're going to talk about that in today's video on the back half, so be sure to stick around. Don't go anywhere. I promise you there's a lot of information you're going to want to know. So first things first, why Adams to New Orleans? We've mentioned it many, many times, the connection to Derek Carr. They played together at Fresno State. They had one year together in 2022 um, where Devontae Adams was a Raider and Derek Carr was the Raiders head coach, or head coach, quarterback, excuse me, but... Look at this quote from October of 2023. Devontae Adams was missing Derek Carr last year. And like I've said multiple times, he's been on the record saying that he came to Las Vegas for the sole purpose of playing with Derek Carr. And now that Carr is in New Orleans, look at that. I wouldn't, or I wouldn't be here, or I would, excuse me, I can't say I would be here if he wasn't here. It definitely hurt not having him around. So there you go. I think that Devontae Adams would love to stick around with Derek Carr. And what did they accomplish at their time together in Las Vegas? Well, in the one season, they had 15 games played in 2022. Derek Carr missed a few games because of a broken fibula at the very end of the season. But 88 receptions, 1,290 total yards, 12 touchdowns, uh, four games with uh, multiple touchdowns. That, that, that's pretty impressive stuff right there. And on top of that, just in total receiving yards, not just with what he did with Carr, just over the course of the entire season, he finished third in overall receiving yards. And obviously, you have 15 games with one quarterback. Most of that comes from the one QB. Now, another connection. This one's a big one. And I, I don't think this is one that we should take lightly here. Keith Williams. He is the wide receivers coach in New Orleans as we speak. And let's just... Hop in the time machine real quick. A couple of weeks ago, I talked about a Devontae Adams trade, and I was told I'm an idiot. I was told I don't know ball. I was told this is stupid, it was clickbait, and my channel is a joke. Well, here we are. Keith Williams getting some big-time praise last week, or a couple weeks ago, on um, Up and Adams when Devontae Adams was talking about Rashid Shahid saying he got the best coach in the world over there to work with right now. How would Devontae Adams know that? Well, fun fact, uh, Keith Williams, he recruited Devontae Adams to Fresno State. And then on top of that, even more of a fun fact, Adams has been on the record multiple times saying that he credits a lot of his success to Keith Williams. And Keith Williams views Devontae Adams like a son. There is a strong mentor-mentee relationship between the two of them, and he is also his personal trainer. He's personal wide receiver coach during the offseason and stuff. There's a lot. That, that's a very meaningful connection. And, on, and, and, and I will say this. This third point, Dave Ziegler, he was uh, involved with the Raiders front office whenever they traded for him from Green Bay. You remember that? He traded for him once. Let's, let's look, at, look at this. You remember when this happened? Well, Dave Ziegler was, was very high up in the Raiders organization, and he pulled the trade off. He's also uh, produced text like, I forget, where, where's he setting up shop? No, oh, yeah, yeah, it's in the Saints front office. That's, that's pretty interesting, huh? So a guy who's traded for a player once is now with New Orleans, and that same player wants to get traded to the team that that guy's on with the quarterback he's familiar with that he really, really likes with the wide receivers coach that is a mentor to him. 
Feels like a Devontae Adams trade is actually pretty likely for a lot of reasons, but those three are huge ones. Now, I want to ask you this question. What would be your Devontae Adams trade package? Yesterday on Twitter, we actually ran a Twitter space, had about 10, 15, 20 people tune in. We all chopped it up, and we came up with a couple good ones. One that I really liked, it's not going to be a popular one. Um, what about, like, Paulson Adebo in a third? I wouldn't hate doing that. I want you to get in the comment section. Put on your GM hat. What do you think? What is your Devontae Adams trade package? Now, coming up, I'm going to discuss how they can pull this off. Like I promised, we're going to discuss why this is happening and then how it can happen. There, it is actually very realistic. I know there's a lot of people in the comments that have been like, I've already typed it because they didn't get to this point in the video. They're like, you can't trade for Devontae. We don't have any money. We can't. Blah, 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 blah. We're so broke. Salary cap issues. Yeah, that's... Um, I'm here to tell you, it's actually not much of a problem. But really quick, got to say shout out to today's presenting sponsor, and that is my favorite ticketing app, Game Time. And Game Time's helped me make a lot of memories, not just with my friends, but my girlfriend, my family, and everyone in between. Uh, if you want to get tickets to a Saints game, Tulane, the Pelicans are uh, going to start here right around the corner, you can get tickets with Game Time. And when you download the Game Time app, create account and use code chat sports you actually get twenty dollars off your first purchase and game time has this brand new feature called game time picks that makes getting tickets to see your favorite teams play live even easier game time picks filters out the fluff to show you only incredible deals on great seats so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms do apply, but once again, create an account and redeem code C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S for $20 off. Download Game Time today. What time is it? <clears throat> it's game time. All right, so the Saints actually can't afford to trade for Devontae Adams. And I know that you're probably like, what are you, what are you talking about? The Saints are in salary cap hell every single day, every single year, every single season. Well... We're going to go through a series of tweets and a series of posts that kind of explain how this is going to actually get pulled off. Uh, apologize for the blue tongue. I had a Jolly Rancher this morning. That's on me. Mistake number one for a guy working in front of a camera. But let's go. Jason over the cap. This is important. If they can restructure everyone left on the roster, the Saints can actually open up about $12.5 million in cap space. Each week, that number drops about $850,000. Now, what's the cap situation right now? Currently, according to Spotrack, you're at about $4.5 million to spend right in this moment. You can create space by extending Alvin Kamara. You can also create more space by restructuring Derek Carr for 2025. The salary cap, I know right here, this number is scary. In 2025, $97 million over the cap. That's not a typo. Um, you, you, you owe a lot of money to people. Um, but good news, the salary cap increases. Um, you can actually save about $30, $31 million if you restructure Derek Carr. So that's a big-time saving right there. Um, you could expect the salary cap to go – it's about 255 now to, like, close to 270 You know, about eight, fifteen, eighteen, twenty million dollar increase. I wouldn't ex be too shocked to see that. Extending Alvin Kamara creates about eighteen and a half million dollars. So, my point being, yes, you're light on money and you don't have a lot to just throw away and burn right now. But if there's any team that's going to figure out the finances, it's Kai Harley, Mickey Loomis, and the New Orleans Saints. Like we all know, they are cap wizards. Every single year, it's a new historic high that the Saints are over the cap. They get through it every year. Seth Walder also adding some context. So what about the Raiders side of things? Well, they have a lot of cap space. They have a lot of money to spend, not just this year, but next year as well. So in his eyes, the ideal move is probably finding a partner that will pay more in draft capital rather than money. So the Raiders take care of the contract side of things, but in return, they get some better return in the trade. Now, in terms of Adams' destinations, I think that these five teams are five to monitor. Also, you could mention the Washington Commanders. Um, they missed out on Brandon Ayuk just like the Steelers did. So maybe they're a team that also looks to go wide receiver, the wide receiver route and go get Devontae Adams. And just really quick, I want to just say one thing here. I understand that people are going to say, we don't need a wide receiver. We need offensive linemen. Good teams don't trade offensive linemen. Like good offensive linemen at least. Like you're not – like. I, I encourage you to find me a name in the comments. If, you, if you're dead set on, no, I want an offensive lineman instead. If you're so dead set on that, give me a name of an offensive lineman that a team actually would trade right now. 
There is no player that uh, in the trenches that ha- can make an impact as much as Devontae Adams for the offense that is available. Devontae Adams is available. Offensive linemen aren't. That's just something that we all have to understand. And, you know, if you don't like it, whatever, you're going to have to get over it and accept it. Now, Jonathan Jones, this is some pretty interesting stuff. I think that when it comes to the Saints, why not trade a third-round pick? Because you actually might be able to get a third-round pick as a compensatory pick for Paulson Adebo if he leaves in free agency. You see what I'm saying? Like, Jonathan Jones kind of giving this. Like, at first it was, well, it's a second-round pick. And now this morning, not even an hour ago, we're seeing it's around a third-round pick. You might be able to get a third-round pick if you let Paulson Adebo walk. But, you know, we did do a little bit of a soft reset. Like, I, there, there is no mystery about that. So what about that aspect? Well, yeah, they did do it. But Devontae Adams wasn't available at that time. And the Saints, in my personal opinion, they're much better than we initially thought that they were going to be, despite losing the last two games in a heartbreaking fashion, I know. But the Saints aren't a bad football team. Whether you want to say it or not, they're not. They, they play well. They're one of the top producing offenses. They are one of the better defenses in the league. And in, in my personal opinion, the soft reset, you can still do that. You can still let Derek Carr's contract play out until he decides to retire. And he's been in the league, what, 11 years now? It's not like he's going to play for 30 years. It's not like he's going to play for 20. Like, you can do two, three more seasons – Get one of your young quarterbacks and either Hayner or Rattler kind of ready to develop. And then at some point, you just let Derek Carr and Devontae Adams ride off into the sunset. In my perfect world, that's what happens. It's not, it's not a, well, we just use him as a one-year rental or we're only bringing him for two years. Like, what you can't do if you do trade for Adams is move on from Derek Carr. Like, that is why you would make this move happen. You would bring in Adams, pair him up with Carr, let them finish their careers together, They started their careers together in Fresno State at college. Let them finish it off in the NFL, hopefully with a Super Bowl. And I promise you this, if somehow, someway, the New Orleans Saints win a Super Bowl, nobody in in my aspect, in my eyes, as a Saints fan, nobody should or will be complaining about the future because you won a damn ring. Like, I'm just sorry. I know that we want sustained success and continued success, but if you get a ring going all in, I, I know there's only like six Rams fans that exist, but I didn't see a lot of Rams fans complaining when they won their ring. Just saying. I'm just saying. So let's just ask you this question to round things out. Who do you think trades for Devontae Adams? Where do you think he's headed? Is it to New Orleans, is it to the Jets, or is it another team? Again, he said he would prefer to play in New Orleans or New York with the Jets. So I, it, I really do think it's going to come down to one of those two teams. So we'll have to see what happens. Again, Be sure to subscribe. We're going to keep you guys updated with anything around this situation. Uh, Saints fans, y'all stay golden. Live show today, this afternoon at 4 p.m., 4.30-ish Central Time. So subscribe, turn on your notifications. That way you don't miss out.